Joseph Mackay, widely known as Gentleman Joe, due to his quiet demeanor, his courtly manners, his politeness, and his meticulous grooming. Joseph Mackay was born in July 1856 at Headingley, Northwest Territories, now Manitoba, the first son of John Dougal Mackay and Harriet, also Mackay, a Hudson Bay Company family. Gentleman Joe lived at Portage La Prairie and ran a livery stable prior to coming to Prince Albert with a surveying party. On the 30th of May, 1887, at the age of 31, he married his cousin, Flora Ann Mackay, here at St. Mary's Church. Ellen Flett, later Mrs. Robert McDermott, was her bridesmaid. Joe and Flora Ann had 13 children, two of whom died in childbirth. The Mackays farmed in the Wingard district in 1917, but returned to Prince Albert after World War I. Gentleman Joe died at the Victoria Hospital at 2.15 in the afternoon of the 12th of December, 1938, at the age of 83. The Reverend Canon Luckcraft officiated at his funeral. Flora Ann was unable to attend due to ill health. The Ladies Auxiliary of the Legion provided an honor guard, while three RCMP and three Northwest Mounted Police, including George Will, acted as pallbearers. Gentleman Joe began his association with the Northwest Mounted Police on the 1st of January, 1885, as a special constable. His knowledge of First Nations and Métis languages made him a strong scout, interpreter, and negotiator. Mackay attended a number of Riel's meetings in 1884 and approved of his advocacy while using constitutional means to address the grievances of the Métis and First Nations people. However, Mackay did not approve of the armed resistance. Gentleman Joe spent considerable time in the Batoche Duck Lake areas before the commencement of the resistance, reporting on the strength and movement of the Métis forces. He did, however, feel that he himself was constantly being watched. He was chosen by Crozier to ride to Prince Albert over the night of the 19th and 20th of March, 1885, to request reinforcements. He was generally considered to have fired the first shot in the resistance, where he had been acting as an interpreter on the Beardy's First Nation between Duck Lake and Fort Carleton. Joe served with the Mounted Police over 21 years, with two brief spells in the early 1900s, making an aggregate total service of approximately 23 years, and was the first of his rank to be given the benefit of a pension under the Mounted Police Act. He was also the first Special Constable to receive the RCMP Long Service Medal.